Hello and welcome. Before you watch this video, please pause it and try the problem on your own. Alright, so let's start by reading this problem. That's usually where I start. The Jamison family kept the log of the distance they traveled. A log, of course, is, uh, could be a graph or it could be a journal. It's just a record of what you've been doing. Of the distance, so we're looking at distance, they traveled during a trip. So, and they're saying it's represented by the graph below. So I, the first thing I do is look at what the axes are. So f of x, the output, here is distance traveled. You might put d of x or d of t because it's based on time. Uh, here we have x axis, right, which is time. Use whatever variables that you like best. They're asking during which interval was their average speed the greatest. So here, if you remember, um, distance, oops, wrong pen. The distance you travel equals the speed, or r, you're traveling at times the amount of time you're going. So for example, if you're traveling at 10 miles per hour and you're traveling for five hours, right? that would tell you your distance by multiplying your speed rate by your time, five hours. So that would be 50, and then the hours cancel out miles. Right? That would be your distance, 50 miles. So what does that mean here if we're looking at the greatest speed? Well, look at d equals rt. If we want to isolate r, r which is our speed, I would divide both sides by t. That means rate or speed equals distance divided by time. Now if you look at this graph, distance is your y-axis and time is your x-axis. And if you remember that slope is your rise over your run, that means that in this case the slope is um, the speed because here this is our delta f of x, our delta y usually, and here time is our delta x. So we can think of rate as a relationship between distance and time, or slope. So you can really just look at the steepness of each line. So here, if we extend each line, we can see which one's the steepest, maybe, and then that would be our answer. So here's one line, pretty steep. This line right here is not as steep. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by steep, think as if you're starting at the left and then climbing a mountain going to, in the right direction. The steepest line uh, that, or would, be the, would be the hardest one to climb, right? The purple line here, the green line, oops, not the best sketch, uh, not again, sorry. And finally, let's do, what color I haven't done yet, red, right here. Okay, so when you do this, um, it might not be immediately clear which is the, the steepest. So here, it looks like the blue line and green line are close for being the steepest. So I'm quickly going to compare them by looking at the points that form those lines. So on the blue line, we have these two points, 2, 110, and 140. So the slope is the difference of the y's, 110 minus 40, over the difference of the x's, 2 minus 1. So 110 minus 40 is 70, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So the slope there is 70 miles right, per hour. So I'll put the units in there, 70 miles per hour, that's our slope. Uh, what about this green line up here, which looks about the same steepness, let's see. 350 minus 230, right, 350 minus 230 equals 120, and 8 over 6, 8 minus 6 is 2, and that's 60, 60 miles per hour, it's looked a little bit lower right there. So 60 versus 70, 70 is the, the larger of the two. You can test them all if you'd like. You'll see that 70 is the highest number, but you can also tell the red, purple, and orange lines just aren't as steep. So here the blue line is the answer. Let's see if that quantifies. Yes, during which interval was their average speed the greatest? Well, remember the x values here are time. So from one to two is between the first and second hour, and that's our answer. Uh, the second and fourth is the second choice. That's not as steep. The sixth to eighth, was the one that's almost as steep, and the 8th to the 10th here, um, not nearly as steep. So again, the answer is 1. Thank you.